Since I moved to Berlin, it feels like I'm having a German reality TV show moment. So this is my audition for Germany's Next Top Model. Take one. Super geil. Das war erstaunlich. Du hast mir die Kleidung verkauft. Larry. Hey there. Hello, how, how are, are you? you? Why don't I try some clothes on you guys? Let's do yeah? it. Okay. So try this on. Keep, keep it zip sideways. I like it. I like it. Oh, yeah. You're going to serve some new wave realness. So what we're going to do is you kind of have to give some attitude like, I don't even care. Y'all got to serve some serious electric clash attitude. Okay? For the dudes, let me demonstrate the dude walk. Like... Me mug, that's all. Like you just got out of jail. Like you just got out of jail. He don't know that feeling. <laughs> no, 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 no. He just got out of jail, bitch, you happy. You know what that that? Endlich. Das ist das Supermodel, das ich immer geliebt habe. Ich wusste, dass es in der Stadt. Hey, I'm Larry T., the designer of Jeuji. I was approached by Adam, who runs the Berlin Alternative Fashion Week, to do a t-shirt for Air Berlin. And I thought, that sounds like fun. I love Air Berlin. I love Berlin. It's got to look kind of cool. It's got to be something everyone can wear. It's got to be long enough to be a dress. It's got to be short enough to be a t-shirt. So we came up with, basically, a t-shirt. But it's a good t-shirt. Bring den Begeisterung, bring das Feuerwerks. Danke für deine schöne Überraschung. You better work, bitch. Hi, I'm Larry T, the almost famous DJ and designer. And I'm here today to discuss a very serious problem that I have. It's called FOMO, or the fear of missing out, which means I want to do everything. So, I'm a, a designer and I do clothes that is worn by Missy Elliott, Sean Kingston, Jimmy Fallon, and I write pop songs that have been sung by RuPaul, Lady Gaga, Santa Gold Princess Superstar, and I do crazy parties all over the world. I do events, I fashion shows. You know, it sounds like I'm the worst name dropper in the world, and yes, that's kind of true, but no, it's my life. And my friend said, Larry, you need to show the world what your life is like. All the fabulous designers you know, all the amazing parties that no one would ever get a chance to go to, and all the events, and it could be really exciting. So I want to bring some of my cool friends from Berlin to L.A., and that's what this show is about. It's going to be really fun. Fashion designers are the new rock stars. most outrageous designers on the planet are here to actually remind people why fashion is important. Okay, hi, it's Larry T from Carnage Magazine, and we're here at the fashion disaster in stylish Shoreditch, London. And we're with our very special star of the night, Brooke motherfucking Candy. Women have beautiful bodies, and I feel like it's the opposite of objectifying yourself, it's more like empowering. If you can be a stripper and you can feel comfortable doing that, I have all the power to well, you. Brooke, that Brooke, was how I felt. So, Brooke, okay. but it doesn't define. It doesn't define a person. It I have to. Me. I have to admit something. Yeah. I used to be a Chippendales. No. Who who is like a famous Chippendales dancer? Who's the most famous Chippendales dancer? Channing Tatum. Was he, he really a Chippendales? Like
I love Heidi Klum. So I'm going to do a little impersonation of her right now. Serious face. Ich habe heute leider kein Foto für dich. Or if RuPaul would say, sashay away. <laughs>